I remember driving down, going into the city, and thinking, I've, I've never used this frequently before in my life. This is dangerous, and I probably need something like a rehab. I still went there. Someone else prepared the drug for me. He asked me, this is kind of a lot, is that okay? And I said yes. And I took the drug, and within seconds I was on the floor. I had an overdose, and I chose for that to happen. The aftermath of this, and I don't know all of the details because I blacked out at a certain point, but I, I don't know how else to explain it. I guess I jumped. I fell from the third story. I shattered my pelvis. I shattered my arm. I had to learn to walk again. In a couple of weeks, we'll undergo the sixth of seven procedures to get my nose close to what it was before. And that is the culmination of my over half a million dollars in medical bills. So I'd been going to 12-step meetings for about six years before all of this happened. As I went more consistently, I found that my life just started to fall into place. Now that I know how important it is for me to share with others, what I know. I go every week and I'm able to facilitate a meeting. Step 12 to me is being in a place where I am able to reach out to those who are struggling and to then let them know that they are not alone. Because there was a point where I felt that I was totally alone and that there's no way that I could ever be forgiven the 12 steps help me focus on the fact that not only am I an addict, but I am a son of God. And it's so important that I share that knowledge because it was hard won knowledge. And that is why it's so important for me to share this message with others through service.